when we are learning physics we know that of what are the things that we should do we are also aware that how physics actually helps us in elevating our experiences in terms of mathematics and usual knowledge so for young students who are learning physics you already know what are the things that you should do you should approach and you should solve what are the books that you should read what are the lectures that you should watch but what you don't know is that involuntarily without knowing uh, consciously you make certain mistakes yes there are certain mistakes that we all make and it is not to you but it is to all of us that we make certain mistakes while learning physics in this video i would be talking about what are those very subtle mistakes without knowing that we make and then it becomes a huge problem in our comprehending and learning the concepts of physics so this video is meant for those mistakes which although we know that we should not make it but still we make it we are aware that we should not make those mistakes but still we make those mistakes why we make those mistakes what is the psychology of what is the mindset behind making these mistakes and what are the things that we should avoid and what is the reason that we should avoid that is the current discussion of today's video i would be speaking on what are the mistakes that you should not do while learning physics knowing what you should not sometimes become very important rather what you should you already know what you should but involuntary as i told unconsciously you make certain mistakes and that mistakes proves to be very fatal in your future learning of physics my name is shonak and you are watching this video on my channel physics for students welcome to this fresh video where i would be discussing what are the mistakes that you should avoid or you should not make while thing that automatically comes to our mind is this we should avoid memorization or the first mistake that you should make is to avoid memorization now you see when we are learning physics in the, uh, either in our grad or our upper grad examinations it involuntarily comes that the kinetic energy equals to half mv square momentum equals to m into v so you and we all memorize certain things involuntarily without knowing the specific reason we do not derive formulas we do not go into the depth of the uh, uh, you know uh, equations and we start uh, you know making memorization so first of all remember that memorization actually is a lack of understanding because you do not understand what is the formula you are bound to memorize so what you should do is that go to the details and try to understand what the formula is all about so that you should not you should not lack the understanding the second point is that there is a limited capability that means whenever you are memorizing something that means you are undermining your capacity you are undermining that okay i know i will memorize certain things that means i am not going to the depth of the problem so this is involuntary reaction obviously with the uh, stress of the syllabus with the course to complete with your professors constantly telling that hey come on complete those uh, mathematics or your sums so it is involuntary but please be aware that you are basically undermining your capacity in uh, when you are memorizing certain things also another important th thing which comes is inflexibility because you are not flexible because you think you cannot go to the root of the understanding you try to memorize things uh the next thing is that it also comes as a hindrance for certain preparation for advanced research now you see when you are doing a kind of an advanced research definitely you cannot do memorization uh what i'm trying to tell is that memorization will automatically come when you understand the root of the subject so the first thing is that please do avoid memorization because if you do not avoid memorization these things will happen you will have a lack of understanding there will be inflexibility and you will undermine your capacity and you won't be ever able to go forward and understand go for advanced research so this is one that the reason that you should not avoid the basics now this i uh, came in a youtube live today uh, talking to few of my subscribers i told the same thing and i strongly believe in that thing that you should not avoid the basics the reason is that physics or mathematics is cumulative in nature what i'm trying to tell is that it will go one after the other after the other and it is cumulative that means it will assimilate one by one it is not that you can just uh, uh, skip step number 1 and directly go to step number 3 
So you should not avoid the basics because once you start avoiding the basics, the accumulation of the knowledge will be lost. The second thing is that it obviously will have an incomplete understanding. Whatever modern mathematics, whatever modern physics, quantum physics, relativity, string theory, quantum field theory, whatever you are doing, you understand that whenever you are stuck in a particular problem, the reason is that it is not that you don't know mathematics, it is not that you don't know physics, but you have avoided some portion of the basics. That is why the building on which the edifice is built, the building is not strong. Also. Uh, you should not avoid the basics because it you won't be able to solve the problems because problem solving skills basically come from uh, the basics. Also, understand that long term learning will be hindered. You won't be able to learn long term because you have understood, you have avoided the basics and you know basics actually gives a lot of confidence. I can still tell you, my father, who is basically from IIT Kanpur, a metallurgical engineer, he can solve such complex problems. And sometimes I get stuck and go to my father. He always tells that, Shonak, you cannot do, it is not because you don't know mathematics, but you don't know the basics. That means basic concept has to be fundamentally and philosophically made so solid that you can build the entire building, the entire pyramid based on that. So point number two, which you should not avoid is um, you should not avoid the basics and you should not avoid the basics so that you do not make this mistake. mistake which you should not do while learning physics is this one, procrastination. Now, you see, physics is a time consuming process and it involves a lot of time, a lot of patience. So automatically I have seen it comes to the students that, OK, I will do this mathematics later. On this this part is not uh, very important for the semester, so I would do it later. So you see the prop physics involves tackling intricate problems that demand critical thinking and it requires time and practice. So procrastination actually limits your opportunity and it limits in order to you can refine those problems and solvings. If you do procrastination, you won't be able to do. Second thing is this one, the last minute stress. Now procrastination often leads to cramming before deadlines, causes stress, anxiety, examination, etc. I have seen even myself, I will tell you very honestly, whenever I have procrastinated, whenever I have delayed things, I see that at the last moment things become very difficult, things become very stressful and you tend to make a lot of mistakes and thereby ruin the project that you are doing. So last minute stress can be avoided if you don't do procrastination. Another thing which comes very important is the lack of reflection and synthesis. Now physics actually involves abstract and complex theories. Procrastination can prevent you from dedicating time to reflect on these theories related to the real world application. So what I'm trying to tell is that whenever you're trying to reflect, when you are trying to uh, you know, sit down and think on a particular problem. If you constantly procrastinate, then the problems and the homeworks and the projects start spiling upon another, upon another, upon another. So what is happening is that you are losing the quality time which you should have given in order to do the proper, in, in a proper way, the problems. This is one. Another important problem, uh, another important reason for procrastination you should not do is consistent practice. Regular practice is vital in physics and procrastination won't help you to do a, a real life problem in physics. See, I will tell you between mathematics and physics, physics will require more and more of regular study. I'm not saying that mathematics won't require, but physics will require and procrastination comes as an obstacle, comes as a hindrance to practicing problems. Preparation for examination, very much physics examinations often cover a wide range of topics and procrastination leaves you to insufficient reviewing, revision and thereby failing or getting a lower grade in examination. Lastly, the long term retention, delaying studying until the last minute can result in shallow learning and poor retention because you have to mug up because again, if you're doing procrastination, you will automatically see that you have to go to memorization. Why you have to memorize? Because the time is short, because the deadline is approaching, because tomorrow you have an examination. So automatically procrastination will lead to another not to do factor in physics and that is memorization. So this is another point that you should avoid that the next please do thing not that you should not do in physics is to over rely on formulas. 
Number one, when you over rely on formulas, I mean to say, I have already told that memorization actually comes as a hindrance that you really un don't understand the formula. But if you over rely on formula, what is going to happen is that uh, the uh, physics encourages in critical thinking and logical reasoning. We all know that. And over reliance on formula bypasses these skills. That means why you are learning physics, why you don't go for philosophy or geography or anything else. You are learning physics because uh, we all know that you are much better in terms of abstract and critical thinking. So if you are going do, go, doing well in physics, if you're a physics grad or an undergrad, and you consider yourself to be smarter than any other fellow, any other team members, then again you're over relying and doing all things to formula. That means you're not enhancing critical thinking, you're not enhancing abstract thinking. My question is then why you are learning physics? So uh, please do not, uh, you know, uh, over rely on formulas because it would lead basically to superficial understanding and it will reduce the amount of critical thinking. Again, same thing, not long term retention will be hindered and it would be a kind of an incomplete problem solving. Even if you solve the problem with certain over relying on formulas, you will see your fellow members, your friends and professors, when they ask you that why have you used the formula, you, will, you won't be able to understand. You won't be able to talk, you won't be able to discuss because you have memorized. Why you have memorized? You maybe you have procrastinated. Why you have procrastinated? Because you have, uh, you know, uh, you know, fall apart from the duties, and you've told, okay, I will do later. You have become lazy, and just due to procrastination, just because you uh, failed on the deadlines, you see, it is already relating the thread from one to another, and again, you are over relying on formulas, and you are unable to solve anything. And what is happening is that your critical understanding and a proper understanding of physics is being Hindered. So please do not do that. Uh, obviously, preparation for advanced study is will be again uh, hindered. So the basic idea is that you can develop on formulas, you can rely upon formulas, but please do know the root of the formulas because there is no problem in using those formulas. Next but when you are using you that, not do do while using formulas. while learning physics. Now I would say this is a kind of a psychological problem that you should not fear of making mistakes. Yes, you should keep it in your mind, whatever your professors or your teachers or peers are telling, remember that failing or doing a mistake is absolutely okay. You're absolutely fine in making mistakes. I've already shown earlier in my video that there is a book called Brilliant Blunders, which speaks of six or seven great scientists, great naturalists, great mathematicians, including Albert Einstein who have made mistakes. So what is the problem? Why you are not making, why you are fearing to make the mistake? So number one, you can learn from errors. If you make a mistake, obviously you can learn from the errors. You can build a resilience because you make a mistake, you correct it. You make a mistake, you correct it. So you built a kind of a rigor. You built a kind of resilience that it is okay, I will make mistakes, but I will be able to overcome that. And you know, mistakes lead to deeper understanding. Here I would like to give you a classic example. When I was listening to the uh, you know, interview of Dr. Roger Penrose and he told that he was a slow learner. He told that in the interview that when people used to do sums, I used to stare out on the window and I would take a long, long time to do the sums. And he told that this is better. Why? Because when the more you do the sums slow, more, more you do the sums step by step without skipping them, that leads from the mistake it would definitely lead to what it's called deeper understanding and deeper understanding actually leads to the next point that is encouraging curiosity why you have made those mistakes let me try in this way let me try in another way but i don't mind i can make again a mistake that is not a problem but it would encourage the anxiety uh, sorry the curiosity the next thing which automatically will come is that preparation for challenges. How many times you will fail? You know that possibly you're doing this mathematics or this thing, it will come as a failure. But that's not such frustration. 
that is not something you become very pessimistic but you learn from the mistake you build up the resilience you get a deeper understanding and you prepare for challenges because physics is full of challenge and you have to have that challenge and there is no problem in making the mistake last one would be innovation and creativity because each time you make a mistake each time you learn each time you reflect and each time you have a deeper understanding what you are doing is that you are doing into innovation and creativity and innovation and creativity leads to i don't need to say much bigger things so innovation and creativity are those things which will come from feeling and fearing and uh, failing and failing so please don't fear for making mistake you can take all your precautions in order to avoid the mistakes but please do not fear from making the last thing but not the list but maybe the most important thing that you should not do while learning physics is that please do not avoid visualization now in many cases you will see that conceptual understanding intuitive grasp of the knowledge is very much required especially if you are dealing with relativity it is a completely intuitive understanding quantum mechanics is also uh, you know intuitive understanding so these intuitive understanding will be hampered if you do not do a proper visualization so please do not neglect visualization do a lot of visualization do a lot of abstract drawing because complex systems motivation and engagement all these things actually comes from visualization most importantly when you are able to visualize something which is very very complex you can communicate well that means communication skill whatever you have visualized comes much more better and you will see that there is something which is called interdisciplinary connections that means it is not physics if you are visualizing you can connect maybe with biology maybe with genetic engineering maybe with geophysics but anything but until and unless you have the power to visualize and you are not saying no 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 i won't visualize do not do that you will be able to interconnect many multiple disciplines and these would lead to a, a bigger understanding so that's all that is all about what are the things that you should not do or you should avoid while doing physics i would like to summarize part number 1.1 is that please do avoid memorization because it doesn't do any good to you you should not avoid the basics please do the basic understanding whether physics or mathematics very well uh the procrastination definitely you should avoid procrastination because that would lead to disastrous results and please do not over rely on the formulas try to understand the basic root of the formulas so that you can use the formulas knowing that you should not fear about mistakes the making mistakes are okay making many mistakes are even okay but when you're learning reflecting it leads to deeper understanding and it develops resilience last is that please do not neglect visualization abstract thinking abstract drawing whatever you are learning in the class take a note and take an abstract drawing sketch because this would help you for a much better and an advanced learning useful these are something without knowing volunt involuntarily spontaneously we try to make those mistakes and if you are aware about those mistakes and we know that these mistakes can lead to disastrous results i'm sure that you're not going to make mistake if you like this video please hit on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get all the notification from physics for students thank you for very much for watching this video physics for students will continue bringing new topics interesting videos and now more interesting people coming and they are will be giving interviews we will be talking and you can ask questions stay tuned with physics for students in september we are coming up with lot of good people around the world coming and talking with us hit on the subscribe button and let me know about your comments thank you for watching this video